Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 17th AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about JSON and the HTTP service. <laughs> okay then Doug, so currently in our application we're defining all of our data within this controller right here down on the scope object, right? So we're passing through all of this data to the scope object. Now, in practice, we're probably going to want to externalize that data and then bring it in from an external source so that it's easier to manage. And we're going to do that in this tutorial by converting this data to JSON, externalizing it in a JSON file, and then requesting that file using the HTTP service in Angular when we need it so that we can have access to it in this controller and then output it here to the screen. OK, so what is JSON then? Well, JSON just stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it's a format in which we can store data, which works really well with JavaScript. And writing JSON is dead easy. It's pretty much just like writing a JavaScript object like this, except in JavaScript, we can get away without putting quotations around the property names there. In JSON, we have to do that. Something like this, okay? That's where a lot of people first coming into JSON go wrong. And uh, we could go through the entire kind of array of objects and do this to each property, but I don't like wasting my time or boring you guys. So we're gonna make use of one of AngularJS's methods to give us that JSON for us, all right? So to convert this into JSON, all we need to do is something like this. You can see, I've said console.log, and then we're using a method on Angular called toJSON. And this takes an object or an array of objects or some kind of data and it converts that into JSON for us, into valid JSON. Okay, so I pass through all of this data right here into this method and then I'm gonna save it and open it up in the console and hopefully we should have all that data right there. So AngularJS has got all that data for us and converted it into uh, JSON and you can see the little quotations now around the property names. So what we need to do is copy that and paste it when we need it. So incidentally, if you want to learn more about JSON, go ahead to this website, it's pretty cool, dead simple, and there's a few examples on there as well. So I'll leave that link down below. And also, this is a cool website, JSON Lint. If you're ever writing JSON, and uh, you're unsure as to whether it's gonna be valid JSON or not, go ahead and uh, just paste in your JSON right there and click validate. And you're gonna see right now it says valid JSON, so this is okay. Also, it's laid it out a lot better as well. So I'm gonna copy that, and that's the stuff I'm gonna paste into our JSON file later. But this is really good as well for spotting errors. So say you've got tons of different objects, right? And you've made an error somewhere along the line, but you don't know where it is. Say you forgot a comma like that, okay? And you don't wanna rifle through it all to find that error. You just wanna come here, paste it all in here, click validate, and it's gonna find where that error is for you. So it's really cool, okay? So I'll leave the link to this down below as well. Now let's go into our application and I wanna pop all of that JSON into an external file. And we're gonna store that file in a folder called data just to keep it separate. And then within there, I'm gonna create a new file called ninjas.json, all right? Cool, now let's paste all that data in and that is our JSON file, dead simple. So we've stored that data in an external JSON file now what we need to do is use the HTTP service in Angular to go out and grab that data and make it accessible to us in the controller so that we can output it, all right? So I keep talking about a service. Now, in AngularJS, a service is just a little bit of code which handles common tasks within your application. So the service that we wanna to use to bring that data into our project is called HTTP. And that handles communication and the passing of data between our application here and the HTTP server, uh, HTTP server, okay? So that's what we're gonna use. Now, we'll get rid of all this junk right here now because we don't need that anymore. And then to use the HTTP service, we need to pass it through here as a dependency in this array. So let's go ahead and do that. It's dollar sign HTTP, put a comma after that, and then we also need to pass it through to the function as well so that we can use it. So again, HTTP, and then what we need to do down here is just write HTTP dot get, that's a method that we're using to get data. And then we pass through into that method, just a string, which is gonna be a path to that data. Now we know it's in the data folder, forward slash ninjas dot JSON. So that's the data we're gonna get. Now, 
if Angular successfully gets that data, it's going to fire this success method right here. Okay. And within there, we need to pass through a function and that's going to take a parameter called data. And I'll explain this in a second and uh, it's going to fire down there. So we're saying, okay, use this HTTP service to get some data and the data we want is at this path. So go ahead and get that. When it successfully gets it right here, then we're going to fire this function and we're going to pass in the data that this method gets for us into this function. Okay, so this data now is all of this stuff right here and we can use that data within our controller now. So instead of setting scope.ninjas equal to that big array of objects right in here, I can just say scope.ninjas equals the data. Okay, so that's all there is to it now and this looks a lot cleaner in our controller it's a lot better practice just to grab the data from an external source and then bring it in. Okay, so that's doing exactly the same trick now. So if I save it, then hopefully we should see no change over here. And all the uh, the ninjas are still being loaded in. We can still use all the functions and we can search. So no different whatsoever. Okay, so guys, that is the HTTP service and how we grab data from an external source. In this example, JSON and then load it into our application, okay? So if you have any questions whatsoever, oh, by the way, I wanna say that for this to work, then you're gonna to need to run this application on some kind of server, either local or live. Now, I'm just using this local one using a package that I installed in Atom, this text editor, and I showed you how to install that package in the first tutorial. So I'll leave a link to that first tutorial if you wanna go ahead and install that package so that you can run your application on this local server as well. If you don't want to use this, then you can use some kind of Python server or uh, something else or a live server, okay? So I just wanted to point that out in case anyone's uh, experiencing you know, difficulties getting this to work. So there we go, guys. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.